Superstar J taking over the airwaves on Shade 45 Sirius Satellite Radio. You know what it is, Superstar J VIP Saturdays. Man, I got something special in here. You know, she brung the little bro and all that. You know what I'm saying? He he, he hogging the camera. He said, nah, motherfucker, I'm going to be here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, we got a, you might have knew her from really creating the whole dance, I, I would feel, turn the whole situation in New York to dance. Um, she hasn't stopped. You know, um, you might seen her in front of 40 million view- viewers, um, probably screaming on somebody or, you know, or showing herself. And she damn near got like a million people, you know what I mean? But understand, um, I got 10 million people that listen to me. You cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, 10 million is right. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Little bro, what's up? 10? Well, now, now, 30 million people listen to us. You know what I mean? So the extra 20 or the five that might not know who you are, introduce yourself, please. Well, it's your girl, Bianca Bonnie. Some of y'all might know me as Young B. I made that chick noodle soup record or whatever. Yes, and man. And they still playing it, so. Yeah, still getting did, checks off of that, right? Facts. I just did Meek Mill's concert. Cash Doll brought me out, and the city went crazy. All the cameras came out. It was, like, so crazy. Shout so, out yeah. to Cash Doll, man. Yeah. She brought all the females that I seen. Like, it was, I don't know if she brought all the females from New York. No, I was actually brought, doing she something. She brought out Dreezy. Like, everybody that's lit in their mm-hmm. state, she brought them out in their states. Like, she brought out me and Nia Lee okay. out here. She brought out Dreezy. And she's still on the leg of the tour, so. Okay, so now I, I wanna I want people to we we, we want to go back, you know what I mean? Because I feel like people haven't really heard a, a solid interview from you and so, heard just story. Right. They heard it on um you know loving hip hop bits and pieces. They ain't hear shit on loving hip hop. They ain't show okay. nothing but me turning up. They ain't show shit. They All right. Show, well. Like tiny, a tiny clip, like on the first season that like, I did chicken noodle soup, and it came in, and then that was it. Like, do, so I, I want to ask you: Do you regret doing Love and Hip Hop? No way! Like I'm, I was a fan of Love and Hip Hop before I even got on the mm-hmm. show. Like I really enjoy watching it. I like the drama. Like it's interesting TV. Like, but when you're inside it, when you're it's in, different. Yeah, when you're inside it, sometimes it's a little stressful because it's things that, like, when you're an artist, like when you're a real artist, because some people get on the show and they just somebody's girlfriend, or yeah. they not really nobody, and they trying to make them themselves as a somebody yeah. like when you're a real artist and you this is really your artistry it mm-hmm. gets annoying when it's, it's not highlighted what you really do so i wanted to do the show because i knew it was a major platform and yeah. it had millions of people watch it so that i could get my fans back because a lot of people didn't know where i went from chicken noodle soup to you know current so we actually spoke about this before you made that move right and i told you that would be a good move for you right. i felt to me i, I feel like loving hip-hop is a platform and you have to play the game that they want you to play, but you also have to get, you know, your rewards off of that platform. And right. I feel like, you know, that platform brought more people that didn't know who you were. Right. You know absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. And I feel like, you know, when you when you're on the show, it's basically what you do outside of the show. Mm-hmm. The show helps you get your following, but whatever you do outside of that, that's what keeps, you know, in tune. Because it's like once people found out it was me and I was mm-hmm. on the show, then once I started doing my music and my freestyles and now I'm getting booked everywhere still all over the world, they then now it's connecting, you know? Because yeah. some people still don't know that I did the Chicken Noodle Soup song. It's a lot of people still find out. I mean, you out. look totally different now. You look totally different. I'm just, I'm just a little grown. Yeah, a little, a little, a lot. You know, I I have to close my eyes sometimes when you put these <laughs> pictures up. Um, I want to I want to ask you, why did you leave, or did did was it time for you to leave, or you didn't want to leave, or they made you leave? I mean, um, well, I was doing Love and Hip Hop New York, and I actually I can't stand the weather in New York. It's freezing, so when we film, it's like misery. Like we outside like this with a level on, and it's mm-hmm. like twenty degrees, and you trying to look cute and do the scene and doing yeah. get everything done. So. I actually moved to Miami. Like, that was a move I had wanted to make since yeah. you brought me out there when I was uh, 18, 17 years old. Like, people you don't was know. was like Superstar, 16. I was, I was, you wasn't I was, 18. I was you definitely was wasn't 18. 18. I was grown. Listen, don't worry about it. I, I can bring the pictures up. I got the pictures. I got the tape. <laughs> I got the tape. Yeah, so. Oh, he got the mail. But anyway, some people don't know, like, Superstar J is definitely, like, a big bro to me. He, like, showed me a lot of the ropes. I actually like, tried to sign Young B. Yeah, but I have a problem with signing contracts. Blame that on DJ Webstar. No, 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 no. We, well, first off, first off, first off, first off, first off, she was gonna sign to me, I was. but it was a lot of it was because I I definitely showed I was solid to her, and definitely, she knows that. Definitely, um, it was just a lot of you know. Now we can get back to that. Is that you had a lot of contract issues yes. that why we couldn't 
Sign you. Yep, it's a lot still going on. It's a lot. That's why a lot of people wonder, like, why your music is not out like that? Mm-hmm. Why are you not doing as much? It's still a lot of stuff going on. I wasn't even going to be able to do the first season of Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, because, I've, I've, you told me that. Yeah, because the person that I worked with, like, um, I was signed to Skrilla Hill, which was uh, DJ Webstar and the guy, yes. Arthur Smith's label. And um, when I got signed to Love and Hip Hop, it's like seven years later, and they, like, trying to sue me and not let me get on the show. Like, try to sue VH1, knowing that's one thing you should never do. Why, why, why did they try to sue you? You didn't fulfill your contract, or it seemed I mean, like my contract was signed before I turned eighteen, so mm-hmm. there's no way you can't fulfill that because once you turn eighteen, all of that. Yeah, but I know you. I know that you love music, and I feel like you. If you had that time to fulfill your contract, you would have. Absolutely, yeah. They so they told my mom that oh she wasn't going to the studio, she didn't want to do music, mm-hmm. she wasn't, and I'm like, what? I was still doing things for seven years staying relevant and and staying afloat and going to events and trying to make a name for myself and then when i finally got an opportunity instead of y'all them coming around and saying you know Mm -hmm. we're gonna work with you and let's build with you yeah they was like oh no we own her name and likeness and she can't do this and it's like only a dummy gonna do that because you could always make more money with an artist than trying to take something away from them when you Mm -hmm. really know you never put any money into me or or didn't help with my career. You was around, so you know that. Like, yeah, I mean, I didn't know that our business actually shout to Ball because he he figured that out right. that we couldn't do anything with you as far as music. Right. Well, let's get into the record. Let's get into the record that you know put you on the map. Right. You know, and it's very a legendary record right now. I always say it's a timeless record because you can play it in any miss of time club. It's it, it's it's just a couple of records that you can really do that. Right. You know, what I mean, especially at the time. Even I would say. With, with uproar, what the fuck though right, with G right. Depp? You can't really play a G Depp record because people will look at you, but you could always play this record and Absolutely. people will be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get light. So, uh, introduce the record. <laughs> All right. I'm from Queens. <laughs> I don't know if it was get light. What what type it's, of time it was? Okay, get light is a whole movement of dance, and chicken noodle soup is a timeless the, record. Was the birth of of get light? Ch- yes, well, talk. Conda. It was one of the. Songs you was like the that, mother of the yes. of all the get <laughs> the lights and all of that. Of yes. Get light. yes. 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 <laughs> the 24 Carat, uh, we're doing an interview actually, right now, yeah, please. We actually did a show, yes. um, <laughs> what was that, yesterday? Oh, at SOBs. <laughs> so, yeah, it was crazy. But, yeah, um, Get Light, I, I guess I could call myself the mother of that. I'm the queen of Harlem. I guess the mother of Light Feet, that's a new hashtag. And, um, yeah, ch- so this is Chicken Noodle Soup. Chicken Noodle Soup. Let it chicken rain. We gonna, we, we gonna, we, on the side. Let's get it. You know what it is, VIP. <laughs> You know what it is, Superstar JVIP Saturday. Still got, uh, I, I call her uh, as Bianca Bonnie now, you yes, know what I mean? AKA everybody, Young B's here. No, I'm about to say, everybody still call me Young B. I'm about to get a chain made that say Young B. Yes. What's that? One of those, um, the chain made? Yeah, a chain that say Young B. Yeah, Young B. Young yeah, B. Yeah, fire. Okay. Well, I want to ask you now, do you get kind of frustrated when people introduce you because I know you get frustrated. I don't know if you get frustrated I get with me. frustrated too because it's like you do it on purpose. Like, I don't, no, let me tell you something. I don't do it on purpose. I'm a person that if I'm in a room I and, and I've always had this problem, like uh-huh. I've always been the person that with somebody, but they'll introduce me like, hey, that's my cousin, and <laughs> you get treated like the cousin. You right. know what I mean? You might, everybody get the food, and right. you be the cousin waiting. Like, So I always want to treat people as their respect of right. their title, of their name. Right. So I think when I introduce you, it's people going to know, they're going to start, the conversation is going to be a little bit right. better when you say, you know, oh, this is Young B of like, Chicken Noodle like Soup. like two different people. It's like Young B from Chicken Noodle Soup, and it's like Bianca from Love and Hip Hop. It's like two different people. It's still like meshing. Okay. So, well, yeah. So we just say Bianca Bonnie. I did the chicken noodle soup song, and I was on love him. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I just feel like you know, it's nothing. It's it, it's something I feel to be proud of because you you've had a record that is still. I don't know how long it's been, but no, it's like thirteen years now. Thirteen years now. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's still a record that anybody can dance to. Um, my daughter knows chicken noodle. She's five years old. So. It's just always a new record to kids, and it's always a new record for adults to act like teenagers again. Right. But let's talk about the new music you got out right now. <laughs> and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ask you this question: Why are you not getting the respect as the other females? I mean, because most of them are signed to major labels or have like management and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Are uh, like in in tune? Like I guess I guess what is the word? I don't know. Like incorporated with the major labels, like so. It's like bigger budgets, and they could just like 
force stuff down people yeah. don't you know, you know I, mean, I mean I, 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 I feel when that when you're independent and you're yes. doing stuff on your own it's not as fast or it's not you know like in everybody's face like that so you just gotta grind a little bit smarter and just make sure you stay consistent and relevant I just think for, for me the view of what I look at Bianca Bonnie, I, I feel you have all the tools the looks the music everything it's just you need the right team to let you be let you concentrate of uh, being an artist yeah I think that you being so independent of being young and actually being grown and being a young kid and having to do grown people moves that it reflects on you and you want right. to do everything yourself. I, and you can't do long, everything yourself in this industry. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Well, but I feel now that also that it's easier for you. You've been in a time when you had to run to the DJ and try to get your record. You had to find your fans. Right now, you can drop a freestyle right now and somebody can comment or they won't like it or anything right. in all these platforms. Thanks. So well, you can make a whole bunch of money. All my freestyles go viral. Yes, and you can make a whole bunch of money dropping projects. Thanks. So, you know what I mean? What's 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 better than making 8,000 a month? Right. You know what I mean? Then, until you get that big money. Thanks. So, um... Let's talk about the project that you got out right now. And um, I, I I attended the show. You had all the groupies. You got all these guys, man, <laughs> lusting over you. And I'm still, man, I hope you, and I'm not going to say this. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be disrespectful. I just hope you just don't become the Ashanti. Oh, my God. And, I, and it's no disrespect to Ashanti. <laughs> And I'm not. I'm not saying that. And I, it might be her requirement is that you haven't found a guy yet. You know what I mean? You first what? of all, just because it's not public, don't mean I don't got no nobody. Like, okay. Okay. All right. So somebody's you on gotta, your body. Yes. And sometimes you got to keep things private. Okay. Well, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I imagine yes, somebody's you, on my body. All right. I imagine you were like a millionaire ball player. Like I, I feel like yo, Jay, <laughs> it's done. Yo, come to my Jay barbecue. We, we we good. Come to my barbecue. Yeah, come to my barbecue. My nigga might be watching, so I'm gonna play like. That. All right. Well, shout out to your nigga. How <laughs> how are your nigga? You know what I mean. Well, let's talk, let's get into the music. Um, so what project you got out? Well, right now I got um a project out called Ten Plus. It's been out for a minute, so all my friends, my all my fans and Bond Gods is in tune with that. Uh oh, Bond Gods. Yeah. If you don't know about it, you could go download it. It's on all music platforms. Ten Plus. Well, let's get into two records from Ten Plus. All right, definitely. So. I don't know what's my favorite record. I gotta play for my baby featuring Jaque. That's okay. One of the shout out to Jaque. Yeah, shout out to Jaque. That's one of the biggest records on there. And um, what else should I play? She was ready for the so freestyle, many. but don't know what songs to play. But. I don't know because I, I I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I like every single song on the project, like every single, and it's eleven songs, and I love every single. All right, well, and I'm not being biased. Like I'm walking you on high. my red carpet, All and right. they want to hear some records. So another record. All right, look what the money did. Look what the money did. Yeah, look what the money. Because so, this is like a more like hip hip hop like rap, so I don't want to give them like. Well, let, well, well, let's do let's do the radio. Introduce your motherfucking record. <laughs> You already know it's your girl Bianca Bonnie, and this is Look What the Money Did, Jerk. You heard? <laughs> Let's get it. You know what it is, Superstar JVIP Saturday. Still got Bianca Bonnie and this motherfucker, my sister. You know, I'm going to tell everybody in the air that's my little sister. She gets me mad, but, you know, I'm proud of her. And I'm proud of what she's doing. But, um, you know, 10 Plus is out, and we're, we're on the Underrated Tour, right? Yeah, Underrated Tour. Now, why, why did you call this Underrated? Because, I mean, my fans just say that. Like, every time I throw a freestyle up, mm -hmm. I literally get no bad comments. Like, you know how you put something on Instagram and you see yeah. a bad comment? Like, that was trash. That was whacked. Every single comment is, fire, fire. Why is this girl not signed to a major label? She's so underrated. She's the most underrated. Like, you could go read through the comments and see all of that. So Would you, would you sign to a major label? Yeah, I would if it's the right deal and the right money. I'm not trying to be, like, 360 or shelved or not get the right opportunity. Like, I don't care to be signed and stuck and not be able I mean, to I mean, I mean, I don't... Nah, I don't, big I, artists that's lit is getting... They not able to put their music out right now. And I ain't with that shit. I want to put out videos and music when I feel like it, like... Mm-hmm. I mean, so it has to be the right deal for you. Absolutely. I mean, especially what you're bringing to the table. Yeah. Right now. You know, I, I always give... i fuck. I always get... I always... I mean, talent... A talent can walk you through the door, and hard work is going to keep you uh, through that door. Exactly. But I feel like um, sometimes a lot of artists blame the major label for them not putting the work in or not being hot no not at all because when i already know what it takes like you you can't get signed to a label and think that they're gonna do everything they just are a bigger machine like, there, there's just, just a platform to put, to exactly, put your music to put out you out there and get you in certain things that you couldn't get yourself into but i we already do mm -hmm. the hard work so it's not like i'll yeah. be 
depending on I just on think you just need that platform. You need that platform, and that and that's what the label provides sometimes. And a lot of artists that are doing well independent still need a major label push because they don't get that stardom, right. you know, um, artist look. Now, um, I want to ask you, so the whole, uh, you know, you and Cardi were real close on the show. Yeah. What 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 happened? I don't, uh, do you still talk or? Yeah, we talk. Um, I went to her baby shower in Atlanta. She had a baby shower out there. Um, um, I hit her up because they had like some Fashion Nova mm-hmm. event. And um, I was like, bitch, why well, I'm not a part of that shit? But she said the label had picked out the artist and she was like oh you know i'm about to start going on tour again after you know she had culture and you're gonna be a part of shows and stuff that i do so we communicate like that's my okay sis. yeah because I've, I've i've always i always felt that relationship wasn't fake and um nah, and actually all. i know you far as a person as a person that wouldn't jump on a bandwagon but i mean as yeah, you know i know a lot of people like i didn't i can't i've been in this the industry. question is why you haven't done a record with her uh listen i've been in this industry for a minute so you can't ask that question you gotta ask why haven't you done a record with remy mm-hmm. why haven't you done a record with asap ferg why haven't you done a record with chris brown why haven't you done a record with tiana taylor like all these people in the industry are people i really know like mm-hmm. from a kid so i'm just not a dick sucker like i ride my own wave and i feel like when i'm up there and i get mm-hmm. to where i want to be then you could call the people you know and say oh you know French, do this feature. Remy, do this feature. You know, you. Mm-hmm. I don't. I just don't like to be like, oh, let me get a song with somebody just because. Because you could still. I, but I see. But I, they have to see you out here working. Facts. You but know you what I mean? Still get a song with somebody hot, and that shit don't go nowhere. I know a lot of people who did a song. I know people who did songs with Cardi. I know people who got songs with Remy, and they still ain't fucking nowhere. So it ain't. But it ain't you. Right. Facts. So when so, I'm, so you when I'm, think when about I'm that. ready to do mm-hmm. that, and I want to call in my favors, then it's gonna be time for that. Like I don't want to do that now. Like you call the, you, like you say, yo, Jay. You, exactly. You know what I mean? I'm, it's, exactly. It's level to the shit. Jay, I need to come to Shade Forty Five. You know what I'm saying, like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but I've seen you work, and yeah, I didn't. Definitely. I didn't. This wasn't a, a favor. I seen you working, and, and I, I, I had to get you up here. Um, but far as um, also, you know, I'm, I want to, you know, this is big, brother. But I'm gonna ask you the tough questions now. You know, everybody always surrounds you with beef when about this love and hip hop thing, right? Now you said, you know, you you said in the beginning of the interview that. They cut up a lot of stuff to make you look like the bad person. No, I am the bad person. They don't cut up the stuff to okay. make me look bad. When I'm turned up, I'm turned up. They get me turned up. All That's right. what it is. Like, they ain't cutting it up to look fake. All right. They they get me right when I'm already there. Like if a if a person just wrote me like when I see mm. you, I'ma fuck you up and then they let that person walk in the door. Yeah. If a person That's the not, that, you? A, if a person it's not even harm me, it's just me, period. I don't tolerate disrespect because I don't hate on nobody. Yeah. I'm I embrace all female and all anybody that do good music or got something live. Yeah. I give credit when it's due. I'm mm-hmm. not a hater, never have been. It's I don't like bitches that rap or do music and they always find a way to argue or beef or hate on somebody just to get clout or to get like publicity or shine. I don't like that shit. So mm-hmm. when somebody do something to me, I take that shit very personal and then I turn up. Like I can't I can't turn it off. Like you're not gonna disrespect me. I don't disrespect nobody. I mind my business. I make my money and but, I. But what, what what's the point when you're gonna say if it's disrespectful? It's the time when, when I they, just, when, when, it, when you gotta when to walk blatant, away. And when it's blatant disrespect. No, see my. Listen, it ain't even me. I don't be the turned up one. It be everybody around me. I be chilling. I promise yeah, you got. But I mean, it's got. It's gonna have to be a time. You know what I mean? That you're gonna no, have to I become walk away. I walk away the person a lot of times. and be like, yo, you know what? No, it's not worth it. Listen, it's not the thing. I walk yeah. away before you see the turn up. I don't walk away many a time mm. before you see the turn up. Okay. You just actually get to see the turn up. You know what I'm saying? It'll right. be times I I've ignored a situation, ignored a situation. I don't see somebody write me shade, write some disrespectful shit, and I'll be like, oh, look at this, y'all. We laugh it off. And then after 17 times. Times, you're not about to write something and shade me or sub me. But I, I know. I, I, sometimes I feel like you bring that 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 energy to them when they didn't. Nobody was really paying attention to the no, energy. No, but see, that's you. You never know when they poking at you, poking at you, poking at you. I mean, believe me, you know me. I, and, yeah. and I'm I'm a I can be a pit bull. Yes. And I had to learn on different. I, I've grown through a lot of stuff. Listen, like I like yes. I said, I want to make it clear to everybody. I don't start anything. Anything you've ever seen me in or any problem I've ever been yes. in my entire life mm-hmm. was not something I caused. I don't get into drama. Like, I I understand. I'm a child of God. I don't want to have to hurt nobody. Like, I just don't. Like, child I wanna, of God. I don't want to have to put my hands. Everybody, <laughs> hands everybody's a child too, of right? God. Yeah. I don't want to have to put, yeah, I don't want to have to slap you with the hand of God. Like, yeah. nah, no jokes aside, though. I don't I don't like violence. I don't condone in violence. You know, I have a little brother. He's 16. I try to keep him out of trouble. I actually go hard with 
with my music and do my music. Yeah, because you've always been. I want to take the care of my family. Like I, brother, right? Yes. I never wanted him to get in the streets and sell drugs or have to struggle for mm. nothing. He want to do music now, so I'm gonna help him with everything I can. But that's you why pick I pick up a ball. Shit, that's you what I told him. But he want to rap. Yeah. You can't, you can't stop him from doing what he want to do. But at the end of the day. I don't start shit. I just want to let that be clear. I finish shit, and then people be like, "You a fucking bully? You you wanna you ODing now? Now I'm ODing, yeah, because you already got me fucking started, and I tried to avoid the problem. And that's with anything or any beef or any problem you ever seen me have. All right, well, you got that. We got that covered now. Yes, that was now, a good question. Yes, yeah, I mean you're, you're with a professional here, you know, <laughs> in front of thirty million. I ain't on a Saturday for nothing. Number one Saturday, but um, also. Right. We've had we've had the barbershop talks, you know, and I, I hate when I, when I know a person, and I always say it's easy to speak, it's easy to speak from the stands and not be on the court. Right. You know what I mean? It's harder when you and I play ball, so I understand. Like nigga, you ain't shit. I've been in the Lakers game. I seen Kobe Bryant. I was like, oh, that nigga ain't shit. And then I was like, I was right next to him. I was like, oh shit, this nigga's all right. This nigga's different. Right. But you know, um. Also, people are saying, you know, and I and I got mad, and I don't, you know, I haven't been around you for a minute, right. but I've seen you, you know, from here and there, you know, and we always talk. Um, they're saying that you you have a fake butt. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't though. Yo, first of all, and this is why I was like, <laughs> and I and it's I was funny. like, no, it's funny, and, and no disrespect no, to you because I was like, yo, no, her mother wait. is thick, you know what so I mean? So Your my mother is, so is my crazy, yeah, you know my, what I mean? So my I'm mom, like, my mom is thick, my sister is thick, but at the age when I was like 15, 16, they was really skinny until they got grown, until they had babies. Mm-hmm. So it runs in my family. Like if you see anybody, in my family, so you, you haven't can tell. never, you haven't no, never I ever I got work, never ever got my ass done, no ass shots, no nothing. Bitches that hate on me, they be like, oh, Bianca got her ass done because I'm thick and I look good. But if you see me in real life, I weigh 149. I just gained this weight back because my the ex nigga I was with stressed me out and I lost like seven pounds. Mm-hmm. And everybody was on social media like, you look mad skinny, you lost mad weight. And I'm like, fuck, now I got to gain this weight back. So I got a pedamine and fucking Ensure p- Butter Pecan. And I've been drinking it and I work out with my trainer, Rich and Fitness, and getting my weight up. Like, it's not that serious. Yes. Like, if you see me in real life, you can see my shape and see how my butt is. Like, and the thighs match the ass and all that. Yeah, like, they, somebody showed me a picture that said your thigh didn't match the ass. And no, I was like, yo, I said, matched. listen. If you, know, you see me in real life, you could see that I'm totally proportioned. My cameraman my actually, camera heated up because of, uh, my cause of you. My don't look like extra crazy. It don't look like nothing crazy. It's just my shape is fire. Like, I can't deny that shit. Like, all right, you feeling yeah, yourself yeah. now. You feeling yourself. I'm you, old, yeah. First of all, can't like, buy suave. Uh, yes. This shit look lit. My jacket, you know, Daniel's love to keep me warm when I'm out here. Shout out to Daniel, man. Daniel, Daniel. I, I, Daniel, I was fucking with him way back. Oh uh, well, give him. You know, what I mean, give him your Instagram. I know you just. You know, we just got into the freestyle. You went crazy. Oh, now, yeah. um, you know, give them where they can reach you, where they can see your shows, or where they can book you at. Um, you can hit me on Instagram at Bianca is King. Everything is Bianca is King. Um, Twitter, I don't have a Facebook. Um, Snapchat, Bianca's King, and um, the bio for booking is in my. The bio is for booking. The bio for booking is in my Instagram or whatever. Uh, Twenty eight cloud. I don't mock you. Yes. You can mock me, you know. I can't do your voice. That shit is like different. different. You know, when you hear me, you are like, yo, that's Jay. That's Jay right there. You heard? Now, before you leave, um, you know, I know you gave everything for people to reach you. I want to, you know, I've seen so many young artists, right? They're Mm -hmm. signing people. Right. You know what I mean? Would you sign a person? Um, no, not right now. I mean, I want to get my brother a deal, but I wouldn't sign him to me. Like, that's too much of an obligation. I'm mm-hmm. still doing my own thing okay. and figuring out my own stuff. Like, but if you saw somebody really... fire a fire 15-year-old fem- uh, female and she loved you and no, said- No, I would put them in the right position to sign with the right people. I'm not about to be obligated to to, to fuck up nobody's career for mm-hmm. them to be like, Bianca, why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? Well, you know how that should go. All I'm right, well, that. before you leave also, uh, would you do a collabo with a female, a mixtape? Like a whole mixtape. I mean, you see, you see, Gunna and um, a uh, little baby doing our uh, records together, um, collabos. Yeah, I want, I'm a collab. You see, with a, a lot boogie of- and little Dirk doing a record together. I'm gonna collab with a lot of people. Like I'm, I'm working on something with Cash Doll. Okay. I'm gonna do a song with Cardi. Um, I'm gonna get something from Remy. I just hit her up too. I just think you should do a, a collab. I should. I think you should just put out projects like eight, uh, yeah, eight, um, my, um, eight project joints, and you the, should do a collabo. Well, the mixtape is dropping April. Underrated Volume One. All right, underrated value one now. Um, what what females are you feeling right now? Um, it's a bunch. It's so many that's out right now. Like I definitely like Dreezy. She could actually really rap. Like mm-hmm. I just like. You Have know, you met her or y'all yeah, talk? Yeah, I met her. Mm-hmm. I think you should do a you should do a mixtape with her. 
Put it together. Uh, I'll put it together. Yeah. yeah, eight. All right. Two brownies? Brownie Come brownie. on. The two browns, man? <laughs> nah, she, and she y'all really still got up. the same type of body, too, man. That's Shout out to Dreezy, man. Shout out to Dreezy. I, I just like females that can actually really rap. Like, you know, because it's a lot of Yo, it's a lot let me of tell you something. It's a lot of, no, wait, hold on. It's a lot of artists out here. Like, some of them is getting stomped and they trash. So, I, I respect the ones that's really good because... You know they're trash, but they're trash to you, but they're trash. They're not trash to the nah, fans. Nah, they really trash. Hey, man, I, I tell you this. I have these arguments all the time. They're, they're, people are coming no, out really to trash, see them. Right? They're, yeah, they're, they're really trash, they're, right? They're, they're people coming out. Those are your opinions because they might say you're trash, but yeah. you got people That's filling the SOBs. Some people, some people might say I'm trash, but men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Check out all them freestyles on my page, and you're going to see half a million views, yep. maybe a million views, and you're going to see every comment under that shit. Somebody said, like, dream doll. <laughs> You're going to see every comment under that shit and every single comment say, fire, fire, fire. Why is she not signed to a major? Most underrated. She's so underrated, underrated, underrated. She's fire. So, therefore. That's what it is, man. Shout out to Bianca Bonnie. You know what it is. VIP.